That's why I'm going fast. Ask for it for for you in general with post. Sorry, I love it. It comes in. There. There as like the music, you know, starts to ramp up. Very good. Anyways, let's start the let's start the run. <laughs> Discovered by bringing in the newspaper. <laughs> so there he is. He's inside his pyramid, and suddenly he's just. To a vortex and is in the hall of hieroglyphs, aka the hall of by how familiar you are already. Exactly, it's so good. And makes all this money. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, we're recapping. You were not kidding about your warrior voice, that is very good. <laughs> you were not- you were not- I'm not joking. <laughs> I, I, I promise, any, 
any donations that come in during this entire run, Gloria's gonna read those. So. Well, well, you're. Heard them. <laughs> Do it. Get some donations so when you hear Wario read the. The first one, the first thing. First level of the game. That's what we're doing. That's what we're going with. Is nice. Alright, so we're just jumping up here. Very, very good. There's two dashes in this game. We got B dash and R dash. B dash is good for short range or killing enemies like up close to you. R dash is just good for going fast. And eventually it'll start killing things as well too. Like that, you see, like that's that's an R dash right there. That's, that's a full one in particular. But yeah, it's with R dashes you can also break blue blocks, which you can't do normally with a B dash. So that's that's why that's where the puzzle aspect comes in a little bit. Then we can jump off of rocks as well too, or, or any enemies that we're holding by just like pressing B and timing you jump correctly. A little tricky at first, but you'll get used to it basically. If you're not there decides to play this game, I guess. <laughs> Which I recommend. Well, the no, no disagreement here. I've been a, a big fan. I, I have a story lined up if we happen to get him just about my affinity for the Warrior Land series. But uh, have you Other games in the series? Oops. Uh, yeah, I played uh, the other ones growing up, but I never. I don't think I beat any of them actually. I know I, I played a lot of Warland 3, but never beat it. I don't Thing, but Warrior 2 I also, also played too, never beat. But this is the one I really just. just loved growing up. This, this is. This is my favorite one. It's still, and like I said earlier, my favorite game of all time. It's just so good. Right there, we also do a soft to skip to skip the intro cutscene of a, uh, rather the, the door opening cutscene. I say it's like. Three seconds we do it, but hey, it adds up. Time safe. I don't know. This is this is the first boss here. Spoiled run. Can we get an eggplant? Eggplant emoji in the chat for spoiled run. Very pretty neat. design of this game is something else. It really is. It's amazing. For, for how, like, you know, stayed and safe all the Mario games play it, the Wario games just are all the way out there. They're, honestly, though, <laughs> it's, it's, it's great. The Spyro especially in this game especially sells it. Oh, that, that face, my nightmares. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You think you'd eat an eggplant or an aubergine, if you will, either way. But no, it eats you instead. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Pop twist. But yeah, we're up now in Crescent Moon Village, which is one of my favorite levels as well, too. And also, one of the hardest levels in the run. 
definitely top two, I'd say, or top three. Right there, I was trying to go for a uh, pixel perfect jump, or if I get it correctly, I will like break the blocks and also destroy that enemy at the same time. Very, very hard. Pixel perfect or frame perfect? One of those buzzwords. <laughs> but here we're going for a harder uh, minion. We call this like a minion bounce or enemy hop, whatever you want to call it. There we go. Get to bounce off the wall like twice to get to get up there. Now let's get I was get chest a bit early in an untended way. Now we're gonna do this, just change that all the way to the end of the room, and then bam. Oops. Still very, very good. Yeah, I mean, you say unintended, Oops. but this all looks so smooth that it'd be hard to tell the difference if you didn't already know. Exactly. I gotta say why it's fast, otherwise the people don't know. <laughs> True. Hey, Ellie, you know, like you said earlier, that cuts you a few seconds. You gotta get to that 11 minutes a few seconds at a time. Exactly, exactly. Just like right here too. Uh, that's not, you're not supposed to be able to do that, but if you have just the right like charge to your to your R dash there, you can get you can do that at just the right time and just and get right through those boxes without having to stop and break each individual one. And that seems like five seconds or so if I get that one. That's that's a nice little movement trick. This run has zero luck to it outside of like one very very minor thing. So, yeah, <laughs> it's very important that we can save time wherever we can like on movements. Very, very important. And I can totally see it being somebody's favorite game for being so technically complex and being all down to your execution. Absolutely. Even as a kid, like I this like this is one of the fair games as a kid, and like as an adult, I just I started just appreciating it more by just running it more like this. That's all, that's what it all came down to. Oops. Just every detail about it, just this it just it just oozes charm and just like it's just I don't know. <laughs> Oh yeah, absolutely. This and then like um, shake it, the, the Wii game. Oh my God, shake it's great too. Yeah, love that hand-drawn art style. Those cutscenes. What was it? The production ID. One of the actual like big anime studios at the time. Mm-hmm. That's good stuff. Anybody uh, wants to put in, you know, petition for a new Wario game? I would love to see what the Switch can do. Absolutely. That's I would I would love a new Wario Land game in the future. I mean, Get Together was pretty good too, but like, had a lot of room for just improvement, I guess. But yeah, Raven Knight right here. I'm doing something called the the bug jump. Oh, messed up the bug jump. Never mind. We're not doing the bug jump. <laughs> Axing that idea. But it's a. Uh, yeah, the whole gimmick here is is the fact that like there's all these different uh, magic carpets we got right we got right everywhere. And yeah, you're just about, like, I was starting my end, so I guess I'm going to restream ends. Not sure what's going on with that, but they're working on it. It's all good. Uh, let me go up here. Yeah, right there. See, like, they, the more you jump, they, they start rising up. That's kind of the idea behind them. Oops. And I wanted a bunch of short hops because you, you wanted them to get to, to you as fast as you can. As you can. And this room right here, we're gonna just float all the way up, change those bees and the bats, and then get hit by the bats, and then I'll become Bat Warrior, and you go, go right up here. Then bam, get Keyser, and then we're out. So in this category is called Normal Imps and Zipless. If we did, if we allowed zips in the run, we can go through a wall here and then get Keyser way, way earlier and faster. But those zips are, are double frame perfect tricks. I'm not even kidding you. It's not fun to go for. It kind of changes the whole vibes of the run. Not big on that one, personally. <laughs> yeah, you want to talk about introducing something that effectively feels like RNG into an otherwise, uh, into an otherwise technical run. Yeah, exactly. Uh, not, so not the most fun thing in the world, to say the least. That's actually a good way to describe it. Like, it feels like luck, but it's not actually luck. It's kind of that's kind of frame perfect tricks are honestly like a lot of the time. Especially if you're at multiple in a row, like the worst feeling in the world is knowing that you got the first like two parts of the trick and then uh, taking it on the third one. Yeah, like I did. I, it was the same deal with uh, or like Kirby and Forgotten Land just came out like a week ago, and uh, <laughs> at the very beginning of the run, there is a frame perfect trick you gotta do. Thankfully, that game is 30 FPS, but yeah, <laughs> it's uh, oh, very annoying to say at least to get that one. Yeah, we were just talking about uh, you know run killers early in the last run with Sonic 2. So. Yeah, 
Thankfully, like, that's not a huge deal right now because the game is so young. If you mess up just a little bit, it's not a huge deal, but yeah. Like, I have to get a first try in a row. I've got a second or third try, <laughs> and like, and that's totally okay. Play time and save literally everywhere in that game currently. Oops, didn't want to get hurt there. It should still be okay though. Yeah, we're fine. Wait, I should have done that. I'm a fool. That is the old strat. Now I have to wait for this lava pillar. No. Fiery Cavern's got a lot of damage boosting, you can probably tell so far. It's got a lot of damage boosting everywhere. That's kind of, that's the whole idea. Just wanted to just <laughs> damage boost not so we have to wait for the lava to go all the way up and down like that so we can get to where we want to go. I can't believe this turned out to be the lava doesn't hurt block. It's uh, <laughs> not how I thought my day was going to go. It's the same deal with Sonic too, I guess. Yeah, in Sonic, only the top of the lava is dangerous, and, uh, well, to be fair, we know Wario is basically impervious. In previous games in the series, he's been, uh, turned into a zombie and turned back. Mm-hmm. Uh, same deal yeah. yeah, same deal on this one, too. He <laughs> gets lit on fire as well. It's another one. Yeah, but fire don't hurt if you're Wario. Gets stung by a bean, his cheeks all, like, puff up, and then suddenly just floats to the top of the room. Like, he's, he's fine. There's no lives in this game, he's okay, he's got infinite lives. It'll be okay. Also, don't worry about the fact that I'm at one health currently, it's fine. Everything will be okay, trust me. See, we're good. There's a, there's a heart right there, it's fine. Don't worry about the fact that I missed the heart earlier. <laughs> don't sweat it, it's okay. Yeah, we're out right there. Did I ever explain the fact that we need four, four of those chests and also keys to actually get to the end of each level and beat the game? Because yeah, we need we need four we need four of those chests and then like keys to get to the end of the level and beat the game. Keyser's the, the little ghost bird friend. He's very, very good. Big Keyser fan over here. Oops, I actually missed the thing. The, wait, never mind. That's not gonna work. We can't get any keysers in chat. We could. Just just type keyser. If you don't know how to spell that, just just ma just figure it out. Just make it up. Make up the spelling. But yeah, Hotel Horror is pretty straightforward. The whole level's lay on like I have a 4x4 grid of rooms, like a, a hotel would, I guess. So, yeah, just gotta go through here as fast as we can. Try to get to room 404 in particular. But we gotta get stuff along the way, at least chests. Very important. The chests unlock the boss, keys are unlocked to the next level. That's how it works. Then we go over here, get this one, bam. Now back to being a bat. It's weird, uh, Wario's eye is the same color as the nose while bat, one bat Wario. It's, it looks very strange. So I'm here and tell that uh, I might not have been heard too much up until now, so I want to restate and stress that any donations that come in from now until the end of this run will be read to you by Wario. Please get, please get the men. Please let Warrior read donations. I heard it a little bit ago. It is very, their voice is very good. <laughs> Warrior voice, pretty top tier. All right, messing that part up there. I was supposed to get it by the the lights, but it's fine. There we go. Yeah, use it right there. It's faster overall to do to that. We used to do different routes through, through Hotel Horror, but it turns out doing like getting Zombie Warrior there and like going through that room is faster than going like all the way around. Same with like starting this level right, like going to the left here, which is how you're supposed to end the level. That's also like faster too. So yeah, and with that we did we did we did a Sapphire Passage. We got through all four levels, and it's boss fight time, and we got the best boss in the game right here, design wise. Check out my my, my beautiful friend here, Cat Bats. Look at him. Oh, beautiful. Oh my gosh. Incredible. Uh, he's so, uh, I, he is so, I agree. Him. Please adopt adult pets. Please. I mean, I mean that part seriously, but maybe don't adopt cat pet here. No, definitely do it. Definitely do. So the idea here is I'm getting, I'm hitting a two frame window to do, to get hit cat pet early while, while it's, he's going down to the wire to just make a wave. I got all five of them. I'm just the best. No, there's one more. Never mind. Hold on. I got all five of them. I'm just the best. Let's go. 
<laughs> we got through some more. I can't count, don't worry. But yeah, that's that's uh, really hard to do that, to say the least. That was, was very good. And now for second phase here, we're just gonna go on the very top of him and just keep bouncing off. I'm holding A and just pressing down like rhythmically here. I was off rhythm. There we go. And we're good. As soon as you beat the boss, you get, you get immediately a soft reset. The game, the game already like auto saves like the frame you beat the boss. It's very nice. And with that, we're on to passage number two, round to pass passage, and on to my personal favorite song in the entire game. I love Toy Block Tower. Also fun level too. Just it's just very good. All these different blocks everywhere you gotta, you gotta get through. It's good. It's very good. I'm hugging the left ball there, because if, if I do that, one of the warrior cars right there actually spawn on the left side rather than on the right. Makes the movement just a little bit easier. Now, if, if we allow zips, we can, actually, we can also zip through the very top here and get right to where the uh, the frog switch is. But this is better. This is better right here. Oh wait, I did that wrong. I was supposed to face the other direction. <laughs> It's different for like whatever category I'm running there. It depends on the category entirely. If I'm running hard mode, I face to the right. If I'm running like normal mode, I face to the left. That's what it was. So I always get confused in my head. Or I always like second guess myself rather <laughs> if I haven't placed in a little bit. But he's a huetetes, I guess. Yeah, you look. You love routing that comes down to that kind of specificity, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's how it is with this. I have to make sure to go through the entire run or else I like... We'll do something wrong on accident because I do something slightly different on a different category. <laughs> That's how it is with this run. That's totally okay. Ain't nothing wrong with that. The last run I did this game was something called All Diamonds, which is a... A fun meme category I made up where you get all the highest value collectibles in each level. The diamonds. Oops. Oh, it actually works. Oh no. Well, here we go. <laughs> they're they're like a certain amount each level. It's not like the same every time. The game doesn't track them either, so it's completely arbitrary. But it allowed me to essentially explore more of each level than I would normally. And 100% in this game, you have to get 10,000 money each level, which requires you like get not getting hurt essentially the entire run if you want to be optimal of your routes, because you get more drops from enemies if you do that. So. I made kind of a, a pseudo like cag like between category in a way that I, th I thought would be really fun and it is really really fun. <laughs> hey, uh, next we get a chance to pause and finish this level. Uh, apparently, I'm not very loud and you might need to turn me up on your end. So if you can pay, a, if, if you can spare a second at some point to do that. Yeah, I can do that. Uh, I'll try and do it like right here actually. Oops. Uh. Bam, uh, desktop audio. Bam. I, I I boosted desktop audio a lot, so maybe that maybe that'll fix it. Otherwise, I'll just do uh. Oops, action was too fast there. Oh no. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Yeah, it was too fast. That's a new one on me. But <laughs> take it from speedrunners, going too fast is sometimes possible. Yeah, this level's really cool actually. So this is this is a uh, uh, this is this is big board. You're going through a board game while going through a a two E platforming level. It's really cool, like, unironically. I'm gonna go for a 1 right here. There we go. This is get myself back on track. <laughs> on, on the route, because, like, otherwise I can do something really cool right here. Check this out. I just go to the left, then time I jump correctly. I messed it up. It wasn't cool. Never mind. I am lame. I also got a 5 instead of a 4. Oh, no. <laughs> it's falling apart. No. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's okay. No big deal. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna bring this back. Don't worry. All right. Again, we're getting the five right here. But yeah, the idea is to try to try and get the ultimate route to get through here. Essentially, there we go. We got a five, and then um, oops, we did yeah, not show, hit. Show me your fives in That's chat. That's a four. Four. Actually, four is totally fine. Uh, yes, yeah, six. Okay. On the fly round. Here we go. <laughs> See, it feels like I'm watching somebody play Mario Party. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, yeah. Oh my gosh, multiple sixes in a row? I must be cheating. Am I, am I tasks? What? It's actually a, a very small frame window to get that one. You got to time your A press correctly as soon as you land there. It is not very lenient. <laughs> but I'm very good at this game, so it works out. I have heard that about you. Yeah! 
He used to have a Ducker in this one at one point. For a few weeks, but hey. It took me it was a lot of effort to get it. Records are records. Absolutely. And now we're just gonna get the heck out of here. We got we got Keezer, we escaped the get a goal. We're good. We're just gonna skedaddle on out, if you will. Just gonna skadoodle, you know? Just gonna GTFO the heck out of here, you know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> now that sounds like what Wario would do. Wow. Wario doesn't skedaddle. Be skedaddling right now, hold on. Eh, you know, the closer I look at it, I think you're right. I think Wario might be in the wrong on this one. Yeah, it's doing a little bit of skadoodling, if you will. It's just, just a wee eh, bit. You know, it, it's like how the inventor of the GIF pronounced it, GIF. Ugh, gross. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes you you can't trust the source. It's just down to, you know, what's actually correct. Exactly, exactly. Now, GIF peanut butter, though, that is pronounced GIF. And it's delicious. Mm, mm hmm that is accurate. That one's accurate. Shouts to Pink Costa up here, by the way. That's what I have to call him. <laughs> the little guy, the little artist pig that like floats around and draws enemies to like get in your way. Also, cool little strategy if I can get it. Oh, I got it. Yeah, perfect. There we go. Nice little movement strat to get through there, just a bit faster. It's like a Wallacher strat, essentially. It saves like a few seconds, but hey. Might as well go for it, you know? And we're just gonna get through here. We got Keezer and we're gone. I'll turn it up on my own end on on, uh, on Discord when I get a chance then. That's what I'll do. That should help. My headphones are like have like lower volumes, so that's probably that's probably why. Gotcha. Yeah, don't don't want you hurting yourself though, please. Don't uh, don't turn things up to an untenable volume for you. Yeah, I'll, I'll it'll be okay, don't worry. Okay. You know, worst case, we get to a point where uh, the next time I do a Wario impression, we just blow out everyone's speakers. And that'll be fun in its own way. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be a good time. It's, it's part of the journey, really. It's part so of the again, experience. Do reiterate one more time now, in case people are able to hear me. Any donations, any donations that come in between now and the end of my hosting block will be read by Wario. And you want to hear that. Yep. I heard you earlier, just a minute ago. very good. Yep. I want to hear that. Speaking of which, we actually have $10 from Captain Ock, who says, Wario's favorite instrument is the tuba. It adds a beautiful, boisterous bass sound to any ensemble. Just like my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Wario loves music. Well, you're, you're here so first. Much, <laughs> Wario do be loving music. All right, I put you at 130% now. Hopefully it's a little bit better. Right on. Yep, there we go. A lot more audible to me, at least. <laughs> I mean, we weren't quiet before, but still. That's what happens when you turn turn someone up on Discord. You can hear them better. Surprising, right? Pro tips here from your boy, Mr. Underscore Shasta. Can't believe it. Wow, I mean, yeah, we're getting speedrunning tips. We're getting Discord tips. Oh, man, I loved this level as a kid. Same. I Oops. mean, you know, the idea is that you're supposed to be outracing those dominoes, and you technically did that, but... <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm doing it here too. I might not do it here because I actually messed up the beginning of this, but I'll do I'll do my best. Uh... Nope, didn't get. <laughs> I was like barely oh, off. Darn. That's fine. That's like not a big deal at all. I'm just gonna damage boost right through here, and then I'm just gonna keep on going. A yeah, small little thing as well too. But if you, if you B dash into uh into like the ceiling at all anywhere it, get, it makes you start gaining speed a little bit faster so that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing there like whenever I can right here I'm also doing exclusive tech to this level because you can't do this anywhere else but I'm doing a B dash and then turning around and pressing up to get right on top of right onto those ladders like as fast as possible and we'll do and why stuff is that there. specific to this level because you can't you can't really, it's not really useful anywhere else like there's no there's nowhere else in the uh. game you can do that really I mean, you can if you find a ladder like that, but it's not, it's not convenient. There's not many ladders in a row. It's just not convenient to do anywhere else, I guess. Gotcha. Therefore, it's exclusive. You know, it's not really. It's exclusive as far as being, like, speed tech viable. Yeah. Exactly. 
And then, like, we just do that there. Like, it's not a big deal that I didn't get through those blocks in time. Oops, I'm supposed to jump right there. I tried to scratch my head real quick. <laughs> I'm a fool. I blame sweats. Making me all itchy and stuff. What's going on? Not cool. Body. Calm down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, taking care of physiological needs loses time. Sorry. It's true. You gotta take your bio breaks before runs. Unless you're playing an RPG, and then you've got plenty of time. Exactly. And I heard like a lot a lot of communities these days for longer runs, like a lot of breaks as well too in the run. It's pretty cool, big fan of that. Absolutely. Accessibility is always best. Pretty neat. Pretty good stuff. I make sure not to get hit right here by anything. Alright, we're good. Should be okay here. We're doing this puzzle backwards essentially right now. I can actually I can kinda like turn around there too. Wait, no, it's still the same level, never mind. Yeah, but there, there's no example of it. I can try to turn around and do that one. Yeah, we do the puzzle backwards and it gets us through like the ends. And it's like end is being a bit faster in the end. It's a little weird. Then yeah, it's time for air dance. I'll see if I can turn you up even more on on my desk on, on desktop audio. I think you might be good at this point, but if you want to tap it a little bit more, you're certainly welcome to. I'll try it. I'll do, uh, like this. The bar is all the way to the right here, so I'm, I'm increasing even more. Alright, there we go. Right on. Put it up to, to 4.0 decibels, or whatever it is. Wh whatever it measures on vast value properties. Wario demands all the decibels! <laughs> <laughs> Every time he speaks, you better not be able to hear ever again. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> yeah. Essentially, uh, eventually, all will become Wario, and isn't that the uh, the best possible future? True. True. <laughs> yeah. I know. I said it before, but it bears repeating, uh, especially now that it's audible. Uh, th these bosses are just the stuff of nightmares, especially if you played these games, you know, contemporary as a kid, or if you were a kid when you first played them. Mm-hmm. Can't confirm. This boss is also really hard because I have to hit only the rats and not and not the. Uh... Not the teddy bear. And we're, we're good. Is the, nice. Is the teddy why it was summoning things, or is that just a, a cycle as it lost health? So if you hit the teddy bear like twice, it will float to the very top of the screen, and it just wastes time. Gotcha. It wastes about 15 seconds. So for a run like this with no luck to it, getting a one cycle air dense is extremely important if you want to get like, a, a good run. So it's like, it's a, it's a huge run killer boss, essentially, just because of that. Otherwise, it's not too too bad. All I'm doing is just ti is just timing like my my movement there, and my attacks like the exact same way every time. So like if you if you're if you're like disciplined enough, you can like do that that, that one no problem. But it's still hard regardless. Oops. And bam, bam. And bam, bam, bam. And then just two this time. There we go. Therm is also a run killer too. If, if you get right past Aerodin and, and like you still you're still nervous and stuff. Very easy to just like fall down there and just lose a lot of time there too. Speaking from experience, by the way. <laughs> oh, how you, how you don't say. But yeah, yeah. You, heard it, you heard it here, folks. The strat is just bam, 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 and bam. It's yeah, that easy. It's true. Boom, bam, bing, bada bing, pow. Wah! It's like that. All right. Um, wait. I'm gonna put that in my notes. Uh, how do you spell that out again? Boom, bam, bada bing, boom, pow. Okay, good. I thought there was a pow in there somewhere. There you go. It's right at the end. Oops. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Wanna go to the right right here and then go back to the left because if we do that, it makes the uh, the pistons there re like despawn. And that's good for us because they hit the ground they hit the ground and just kind of like disrupt their movement otherwise. And bam. Wait, just bam, or maybe also boom? Uh, just bam that time. I can do a boom next time, though. Fair enough. Hey, I mean, I'm not the one telling you how to run. The the booms come where the booms come, and all the rest is bam. It's true. I understand. Yeah. I just want to point out that that uh, last donation did go towards the Wario Hop incentive, meaning we have just about $70 left. We can absolutely get there with your help and raise Oops. money for Save the Music. Ooh, absolutely. Let's, let's do it. Warhop is pretty fun. It's an endless runner that I'll be doing at the, at the end of this. 
It is uh, kind of music. It's like music cue based. So like, I just gotta like time my jump at the right time. But it's I've still playing, really hard. Uh, it's really hard. It's, my um, my reference for the Wario voice, my research the last couple of days was actually playing Wario Wear Gold. So Yo, between that the best and playing Wario some Rhythm Heaven, between playing that and some Rhythm Heaven, I have absolutely been in 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 the Wario zone and the music zone recently. You've been Wario Heaven. You really have. There you go. Oh, yeah. There, there you go. That's the next game in the series, Wario Heaven. Perfect. That's what I want. <laughs> Yeah, WarioWare Gold, best WarioWare game. If you've not played it, which a lot of people have him because it came out on 3DS after the Switch came out, but it is the best WarioWare game, easily. That game just yeah, now th is that the game time. went ham. That game would just now went absolutely ham. You're, you're not going to get to buy games on 3DS or Wii U like after a month or two from now. True. So. This game was on Wii U VC. You should get you should get on Wii U VC if you have one of those lying around. It's Heck very, yeah! It's very Excellent good. Excellent shout out. Yeah. It's also in the 3DS Ambassador program, but you can't really do that unless you got a 3DS, like, early on. But, yeah. I, I didn't have that, yeah. unfortunately. Couldn't play this game, or Minish Cap, or, like... I think one of the F-Zero games is on there, on GBA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, the GBA F-Zero. Uh, AX, I think, or Advance, whichever one that was. Yeah. <laughs> one, one of those. Could be maximum velocity. Yes, thank you. That's the one. There we go. There's AX also is the arcade one. There's also Dance Wars on it. I want to say a few, a few other stuff. I don't, I don't really know. I don't remember. I, yeah, I never. You had know, it. I, I'm gonna end up looking up how much an uh, Ambassador 3DS goes up, uh, goes for on eBay after this, and I'm gonna be very sad. I'm sure of it. Probably. <laughs> There's no doubt. It's like really expensive now. Yeah, before we blow the fridge, this level right here. This, the name is a reference to the difference between uh, Fahrenheit and Celsius, as far as I'm aware. I think for bullet, for freezing points in particular. It's pretty cool. It's four de four degrees apart. I don't, or something like that. I forget exactly. What it was. Some someone will correct me at some point in the chat. <laughs> yeah, freezing, I think, is the one thing. It's the same in both, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. Or no. You know, it, it's uh, nine fifths or five ninths plus or minus thirty two to go from one to the other. I so. don't know how you remember that. <laughs> Do you have to know that for your job or something? Is that is that how you remember that? I don't remember that one from no, school. <laughs> no. So uh, the way my brain works is the less personally relevant any given piece of information is to me, the more likely I am to remember it. What's so. the, what's the quadratic formula? Uh, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Nope. Oh no, that's um that's triangles. Uh, the the, the line radius. Negative B plus or minus square root of, of something over 2A or something. I, I forget what it was. That's oh, close. yeah, that's the one. Um, square root of B AX squared. AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, it's not that one. I don't, I don't think it is. No? No. 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 It's negative B All plus right, or minus well. square root of B squared over 2A, I want to say. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, doesn't that doesn't that like when you when you take the constants and you solve that out, isn't that this uh, did isn't what I said the standard form of it? You're not wrong though. I think you have the the proper formula. X equals you know w with X on one side and the the formula on the other. If this is a calculus thing, I've never I actually never took calculus in school, so like I don't even, I don't even know. I took a lot of algebra I'm, though. I'm just gonna say we're both right until chat tells us we're both wrong. Agreed. 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 <laughs> By the way, come I'm up. also hearing from the chat that you're very good at this game. Let's go. Uh, which which I'm inclined to agree with. Yeah. I do like this game a lot. I've played it once or twice, maybe thrice. Coming up right here is actually the one bit of luck in the run. And I got good luck too. So that Yeti for some reason goes either to the left or to the right when it turns around. Don't know why. If it goes to the left, I have to wait like half a second for it to turn around again so I can get up there without getting frozen. And to shout out to the actual Yetis though. But shout out to the Yeti. Who's not sponsoring uh, Midwest Speed Fest, but they're just a good, they're just a good product. I just like the Yeti. Ye it's true, I'm wearing a Yeti shirt right now. So am I. <laughs> it's nice. based off of Warrior Land 4. It's perfect. Shoutouts to all the Yetis in chat. Yeah, there's there's a big walking Yetis right there. I love them. They're strolling, strolling and trolling. Oh, what was that game from uh, uh, an awful block of GDQ uh, some years back? Was it uh, Suburban Yeti? Urban Yeti, yeah. Urban Yeti, that's the one, yeah. 
Uh, that, that game that, is that, wild. That's one of the few games I can think. Yeah, that might be even more of a a, a mind trip than Wario Land. Look up Urban Yeti series music on YouTube. You'll thank me later. Thank is a strong word, but yes. you'll you'll certainly have a reaction worth talking about. Exactly. It's a, it's a talking point. Trust me. It's an absolute classic. So good. <laughs> I mean, honestly, most of what happens in Awful Blocks are everything from it's uh, true. The Zelda CDI games to Mr. Bones to... Mr. Bones, yes, yeah, so that was yeah. great. Captain Novelin, which I think you'll actually be seeing... Um, say, did that happen already or is that coming up later today? I'm not I sure. Take a look at that. It'll happen at some point in time. Stay tuned. It's true. That is the nature of time. Everything uh, has already happened and will happen again. Sure. <laughs> there it is. It is this evening, scheduled for around 10.30. So just uh, just a handful of hours here, uh, about eight hours. Oh, there you go. G general rule of thumb for any marathon. If you don't know the game, good. <laughs> Watch it. <laughs> right? Isn't that the way it goes? Like... The, the runs that you know nothing about going in can just be some of the most fun to watch. Honestly, though, it's great. Shouts to Piney Beam because of adventure. <laughs> Not really. That's like... <laughs> <laughs> that's a game I run. That's very, that's very not good, but I play as a kid, and that's why I like it. <laughs> but nice. the game is very not good. I ran it off a block at a GEQ, like, during I mean, quarantine. you want to talk about other not good games. The game immediately before Captain Noble in this evening is Shaq Fu. Oh, yeah. And there yeah. are donation incentives to turn the sound for that game on. Oh, no. <laughs> That's how you know it's, it's it's absolute quality. That's how you know. Mm -hmm. Yep. You, you want to feel that shack attack. That is, that is a donation incentive that you can donate for to turn both the music and the sound in Shaq Fu on. Oh, my gosh. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> So Kuka Condor, by the way, is, is this is the boss here. Uh, we just gotta bait out the claw. Once it'll, it'll go down after after a, a little bit of time. We're just gonna bait out and melee hit. So then second phase is gonna happen, and we're just gonna start alley ooping eggs on top of him to hurt him. That's about it. That's all we're doing here. You know, I gotta say, as much as I still enjoy the design of this boss, I'm a little disappointed that it isn't a horrifying monstrosity. Oh no, it's suddenly a horrifying monstrosity. <laughs> Oh, yeah, well, I guess I should have seen that coming. Oh, no. And for this last one, we're just going to do this. Going to hold it for a second, and then bam. Because after, afterwards, he starts, like, going really fast across the screen. Like, when it has one health left. So you want to make sure they can actually nice. get the egg there. So, perfect timing. Now it's time to get comfy, everybody. I like to call Emerald Passage here Comfy Passage, because every single song Emerald Passage for every single level is very comfy. So let's listen right here, which, fun fact, by the way, in WarriorWare, in the first WarriorWare game, this song plays very, very sped up on one of the, on one of the micro games in the background. It's really strange. It's the one where you're bouncing bricks on, like, a unicycle. It's that one. Okay. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, it's really odd. I don't know why, but I learned that like at, at some point. Yeah, I mean Wario, where Wario games in general just have like a really weird legacy uh, across a bunch of other Nintendo games. Like if I remember um, the N sixty four Doctor Mario game, uh, the the characters that you play against in the single player modes are actually all enemies from Wario Land three. And Warrior Land 4. Dr. Seinstein is uh, actually from this game. You see him most in the oh, bonus levels. Right. You'll see him also in the final level of the game, but but yeah, we still, still have a little bit to get there. Yeah, and then of course there's the legacy of uh, WarioWare games having quote-unquote Nintendo levels, where it's just uh, either straight-up Nintendo games in, in micro-game format or Wario placed into games. Yeah, shout-out shout to my boy 9 volts and 18 volts and 5 volts and uh 13 amp I think is also in Warrior Gold yeah that's true they're all great appreciate all of them honestly especially love in Warrior Gold like the rap battle between like 18 volt and 13 amp that was so good 
Mm -hmm. No, I, I like love it's great. The, it, it's just the silliest thing that uh, your, your collectibles in that game include records of like literally just those cutscenes and the other songs, so you can listen to them whenever you want. Oh yeah, and they're really high quality too, which is the best part. I mean, oh my gosh, dude, my my nostalgia mirror just went way the hell off there <laughs> when I heard like high quality versions of the songs in, in like WarriorWare GBA and Touch and everything. Like, right? oh my gosh, so good. Yeah, and the like the Japanese lyric versions like if you ever wanted to you know listen to one of those like like the Mona pizza theme in Japanese oh, so good <laughs> like, yeah you you wouldn't necessarily know it from like a Japanese pop song if you weren't listening for it love Mona pizza by the way <laughs> mm -hmm. can the rest of our commentary just be singing Mona pizza <laughs> I mean you know Hey, somebody put in a donation and uh, Agreed. Wario might sing. That'd be a terrible idea. I've never practiced Wario singing, but what the heck? I'm up for it. Hell yeah. There you go. <laughs> Y'all know what to do right now. Want some truly cursed and blessed content. Some blurs content, if you will. Yeah, I mean, isn't that what we're doing here? It's true. I mean, I know we're also raising money for Save the Music and, uh, you know, promoting the, the great things that VGM Con and, and Midwest Speedfest do, but well, what's a good speed marathon without a little bit of blurst? Exactly. Exactly. Which, by the way, after this, if I'm not mistaken, I'm, I'm the last online run before I get back to the offline portion. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. After uh, after you and I hand it off, we'll be going back over to VGM Con in Minnesota to be on site with the uh, Helix and all of them for some uh, for some in person runs. Perfect. Yeah, in that case, uh, if so, if you're, if you're hearing this in the venue right now, if you're if you're watching currently in the venue, can y'all give like you know, the, the staff like a hug or something? I think I think I think I definitely need it. <laughs> Go hug like <laughs> Helix and Rocket and everything. They're, they 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 need, they need it for sure. Absolutely, they've been doing a fantastic job. Absolutely. Yeah, if we could get some hugs in chat for our on-site crew. That too as well, just some hearts as well too. Just just all the love for them, really. I can only imagine doing like this sort of hybrid event is definitely not easy on, 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 on in, in any aspect, really. So like, if we need all that. Yeah, they're doing a tremendous job keeping everything together. You know, it. you make adjustments, I make adjustments. There's things to do on their end. There's, you know, Wi-Fi and bitrate connections to deal with. Uh, mm -hmm. Making sure the quality of the stream and the restream are both up to snuff. It, 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 it takes a village, as they say. It do be taking a whole village, though. Speaking of which, uh, this level right here. Same deal. We'll also take a village because it is one of the it's one of the coolest levels I can do if, if I do everything correctly. But it's also a, a big run killer right at the end of the run too because these platforms are very tiny and swing back and forth. But that was perfect. So let's go. But we gotta do two more rooms just like that though. But for now we gotta go all, all the way down here as Fat Wario just like this, and then bam. And this loose guy right here. This is every single run. It's great. And dead. <laughs> so good. There we go like that's perfect. And then two more rooms, just like the first one there. Apologies for the bit rate in this level, by the way, but uh, the the rain effect does. We'll just do that. Just kills bit rate. R.I.P. Bit rate. R.I.P. Trust me, there's fast going on. I I I I know those last two rooms, but the hardest ones were good. We're going fast. No. Yeah, I, I can see some fast in there somewhere. There's speed happening, just a little bit. I was about to just pass a chest, but this chest is better to get now rather than rather than uh like later. So we're, we're getting that real quick, and now we're going back in here, getting this chest right here. Bam! Oops! No! No! Oh, there we go. Get a little crouch and jump there. And then the reason why I can do all that is because now we can go off of, we can slide right there and take a little shortcut to get out of the level a bit faster by jumping right here and going right through the wall. And now is when I drink some water. Mmm, hydration break. Delicious. Delicious agua. Chat, what are your favorite kinds of water? Personally, I like uh, clean water. Big mm, fan. That's a good choice. 
I mean, realistically, there are answers to that question. There I, are, I yeah. do like a, a sparkling water on a hot day, but... Could be good. I do like... I mean, there, there is like flavored sparkling water that is, that is pretty okay. I never drink, I never drank LaCroix before, but yeah, for it's pretty okay. We've got votes in the uh, in the chat for uh, dihydrogen monoxide. Oh, sorry, dihydrogen dioxide. That's pretty I think good. That's heavy water. You might not want to drink that. <laughs> oh no, but probably not. And uh, also a vote for wet water, which yeah, no, that that's a good kind of water. That's pretty good. I agree. Big fan of that one. Big fan of this boss here right here, Cractus. I'm just gonna do an infinite on them real quick. Impressive, whoa. Lots of inputs. You can't you can mess this up though if you don't go far enough over to the ladder again. <laughs> I've done that before. Gotcha. Yeah, you were saying there aren't other places. I mean, I know you meant the different ladder strat, but you know, turns out there are other ladder strats in the run. There are ladders in the run for sure. Can't confirm. <laughs> And there's also more horrifying faces. It's true. Just wait for the final boss, which by the way, this is the final level right here. Golden Passage. So we're actually going right into the bottom level like at the very start, because if we do that, we can get we can like get further to the level by uh timing my A my passes correctly and jumping out of the water over and over again like that. So we're gonna keep doing that like this. I have a visual cue for this so I can talk over it. It's it's cool. There we go, that was perfect. Oops, I'm hitting all the blocks there, don't wanna do that. Now we jump, and now we bat. <laughs> this little portion here, you gotta get around all the lights to so go and turn back into the regular Wario. Just then get that chest there. And then what we have here is we gotta go up to the top right. Up to the top right, so. Back over here. And then this room is pretty long. One of the longest ones in the entire game, right here. Just one big giant puzzle, essentially. Just to get keys are right at the end of it. And there's Dr. Science right there, by the way. Here's, hey! There he is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hear his noise real quick. Ow! <laughs> Love it. Always gotta play Perfect. that noise. Now we roll right here. Get a free diamond, because why not? Gives you a thousand money. It's pretty good. One thousand currency, whatever you want to call it. Speaking of money, we actually have some money. Go for it. We have $75 from Wario. Ooh. Everyone says that Wario is greedy. But it's true. Wario demands to take up more time and make you watch the Wario Hop Showcase. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fan and, of that. Uh, that puts us over the mark for the Wario Hop Showcase. Let's That'll go. do it. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much for for doing for that. By the way, I didn't mention it earlier before Warrior Hop. I have world record there currently, so yeah, I'm pretty good at that one. <laughs> Y'all in for a treat. I'm not even kidding you. Every single jump is worth a point in Warrior Hop. I got 694 somehow on one of them. <laughs> it's all. Well, it uh, if I'm not mistaken, we're actually a little bit ahead of time. So you know, if if you get up into the five six hundreds, I don't think we're gonna stop you. Uh, we'll see. The goal is to get to the very end of the th the third loop, because at that point it starts looping over and over again. Gotcha. That That's my goal, which is like around 140, 150 or so. We'll see what happens. How about that? We'll, we'll just see what happens. <laughs> hey, look, it's a perfectly normal looking boss, yeah. more or less. Perfectly normal, yeah. Just, just some ro royalty, just some nice little spooky ghosts. It's, it's fine. And our, our little cat friend with uh, no treasures to add. Yep. Our totally normal cat friend that has no importance to the plot whatsoever, not, not even remotely. <laughs> Wait, this game has a plot? Yeah, it does. Oh, right, I'm sorry, you said up front. There, there was some treasure collecting, um, and you read a newspaper, and that's why you went on an adventure. Yeah, and you'll see what, you'll see the conclusion as well, too, to the other details they didn't mention <laughs> at the very end right here. But first off, we had, we had to destroy the, those, those, those masks right there. Then, it's gonna cycle between a green ball, a, uh... A blue ball here I can hit back at her, uh, a black egg that can alley you right back in her face, and then this hammer, which I'm which I'm going to cycle over and over again, if I do it correctly. Oh, I'm at, I didn't do it correctly, oh no, it's over, GG's. <laughs> GG, shake my hand. Oh no, it's over again? Oh no? <laughs> Get some GG's in the chat. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> just just an just a awkward start, but it's okay. Whoops. 
Yeah, we're just gonna keep this, this hammer around. If I, if I don't keep it moving at all, it will it'll eventually just despawn. I am not doing well with this this time. Oh no. Uh, I am not doing well with this this time. Oh no. Good thing we have five you minutes on, on the clock. <laughs> it's true. Which we will not need all of that. I, I, I got rid of it. I am not doing well with this this time. I don't, I don't imagine it would have been faster to collect any of those treasures because, you know, if you're playing casually, collecting the treasures throughout the game will actually do more damage to this boss uh, up front, but... Yeah, if you go, there's actually a shop in this game you can, you can get to, and oh, if, yeah, you, if, you, if you do the mini games, you actually get coins to buy stuff from the shop, which if you can spend on actually hurting the boss a bit more. Just throw an egg out here. There we go. And third phase. Time is very soon, by the way. Their face is gonna destroy the treasure below here now because she's pissed. She's angry. And then one last hit right here and time. GG. Now I wasted a lot of time there. If I wasted more time, I could have gotten a worse ending. It would have gotten. I could have. I could have made like. Could have made. Could have made that happen. But it's fine. <laughs> True. <laughs> Yeah, another thing to look up after uh, w when you get a chance uh, is the endings for this game and heck, a lot of the other Wario Land games. They it's, really love to have silly things going on in the endings. It's very silly in this game, especially. So in this game, if if he if he gets depends on the amount of uh, chests you have in the background there. If you have twelve chests, we get the best ending, which we're gonna get because it's it all depends on time and like you know every, everything else like that. Right, the faster you get through to get the treasures as you go through the levels. Yeah, and, and, and actually in particular, it's like the faster you beat, you beat each boss. It's so like if I messed up on the previous gotcha. bosses since they had three chests in the background, I would have like 11 there, for instance, if I lost one on, on like Cat Patch, for instance. But yeah, like 11, 12 chests means you got best ending. It means you got like the, the quote unquote best looking princess. But 11 through 4, if you get between 11 and 4 chests, we have the. The Cannon Princess is what we have. Where, like, right. you, you see her in, like, the the intro of the game. She has, like, long hair and, like, a, a long dress and everything. That's what we got. And personally, the most fun, I think, is the one right below that. Yeah. I don't want to spoil it. If, if you want to talk I'll about talk, it, you can. I'll but otherwise, I would say, go look at it. No, I'll talk, I'll talk about it. It's fine. Uh, so, if you get between a three and two chests, you get a princess looking exactly like Wario. <laughs> And when and when she goes to kiss the kiss warrior in a second, she warrior have a very disgusted looking face, like. Mm. <laughs> but then the if you're between one and zero chess, the best one, <laughs> you get uh, you get baby princess that does the same thing as well too, <laughs> which is a uh, very weird. This game warrior is very weird. It's a bit weird one. It's a, it's a weird video game, but hey. I don't know if you noticed over the last 50 minutes or so, but uh, Wario Land are weird games. Yeah, there you go. I love that face so much. So good. Yeah, this game is endlessly memeable. Uh, the, mm -hmm. the the gif of Wario, on, or the, the animation loop of Wario on fire in particular is one of my very favorite. Uh, I turned it into a Discord emote, so. Good. <laughs> good. <laughs> also, like, when Wario like, goes AFK and he has, like, he's pumping iron, it's like a... I like that one too. It's emo in my Discord personally. Nice. Yeah, we saved the princess and we got the, we got the treasure. That's the cool thing about this game too. We, we Wario wins. Wario wins. He doesn't just like get his treasure knocked away from him. He doesn't like he gets what he wants at the end of the day. And like let's get let's get kissing the princess. And he's cool with that too. Like it's cool. I think it's actually kind of the, the through line of the whole Wario Land series. He takes his lumps, like at the end of the first game, um, he's looking for a giant golden statue of Princess Peach and he finds it, but then Mario flies in on a helicopter and airlifts it away. What the heck, Mario? Not but, cool. Yeah. But we work Wario, hard for still that. Take, Wario still takes all the treasure he earned and uses the magic genie lamp that uh, Princess or that um, Captain Syrup had. And he used, the, for whatever reason, he has to pay the genie. Uh, Wario doesn't Whatever like giving reason. up his money. Yeah, he ends up getting his castle in the end. So, so even for taking his lumps, Wario still makes out all right. It's it's so cool. And also, fun fact: depending on difficulty you play on, you get a different car that Wario drives in at the end here. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. You get the hot rod. Yeah, you get a you get either you get, you get the, his regular car here for normal. For hard mode, you get a big truck. And then for uh, for S hard, if you be, if you be on that, the hardest difficulty, you get like a flying car instead. It's really cool. You also get a different picture at the, at, towards the end of the credits too, as well, depending on depending on the difficulty. Anyways, warrior hop time. 
The credits are like four minutes long. The intro the outro is already like a few minutes. So let's let's get let's get onto this real quick. Uh, I'll do it on, on on my hard mode file here. I'm down. I'll do it. I just have to go to any shop. It's, it doesn't matter. John loves the shop music too. It like fades in, but I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna make sure I can hear the game audibly because I need to for this. There we go. Sorry for bleeding some of my mic just a little bit, but yeah, warrior hop time. Don't need a timer for this one. We can just go straight in, unless you want to. Restreamer, <laughs> up to you. <laughs> but yeah, so this is Endless Runner. Y'all doing for this? It's pretty cool. And I just gotta listen to the. Here we go. Just gotta listen to the B of the rhythm and press A at the right time. But everyone, but if I time it correctly, you get a little sound effect from these little little guys right here. These little dudes. I love that one especially. The uh, hey, <laughs> so good. Yeah, that's that's the idea. It's pretty simple, but it's it's simple, but it's difficult in simplicity. You know. Yeah, yeah. That little all right is, is another one of those sound effects that comes back in the WarioWare games. Does it actually? You definitely recognize it if you play. Yeah, I think so. Hmm. Reminds me of the kind of noises you get after succeeding in like a, a, a number of the different micro games. Fair enough. Fair enough. Guess never put this together then. <laughs> Yeah, once it gets to the the, the the higher speeds, I'll ask for a little bit of silence though. Especially on, on the third loop. For That's... sure. Yeah, I was already doing that in anticipation to be honest. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Yeah, so like when you get to uh, this guy right here, that means we're uh, past the, the, the first loop. Now it's speeding up and everything. And now here's, here's where I, I request silence. I'm going to focus for this one just a little bit. Oh, missed the... Ow! Whoops. Oh, not getting the right timing, but it's, it's still okay. We're getting over it. Nice. Almost messed that one up. Ow! Got that time. What's your What's your favorite enemy, chat? Real quick, what's your favorite enemy? On to the third loop now. This is important. I gotta get this one. Very, very close right here. <laughs> oh, still getting it. So, so tight. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Hardest part. Oh! <laughs> Jeez, we got it. There we go, that's the third loop. Woo! That last part's so hard. Getting three in a row there. Jeez Louise. Okay, we did it now. That's all I need. That's all I want to show off for the showcase. We'll go further. We'll go even further beyond oh, oh. for this. Let's go. Yeah, see how far I can get here now. My record, by the way, is actual world record for this is 694 points. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> it was ridiculous. I just kind of went ham one attempt, you know. <laughs> I don't know how I did that in, in, in the past, but yeah. You can see, you can hear my reaction in general on, on my YouTube page. I actually highlighted the whole thing, <laughs> even like five minutes afterwards of just me me, me popping the heck off. 
<laughs> it was great. <laughs> this guy randomly after an attempt of this game. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Messed up right there. It's okay. I got randomly after an attempt of this game that I did like one night. I was like, let's do some more hopping it off. Suddenly I have a 15 minute long, long warrior hop session that I did out of nowhere. And just at, we got 694 somehow. It was ridiculous. The previous record was like 602, I think. And there's only a picture on CyberScore. So now there's actual video proof that happened. So, yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's warrior hop right there. You, you can see if that third loop is especially really, really hard. I mean, it looked very easy, but trust me, it is not. <laughs> It's, yeah, it's so you know it's if simple, you want to first complex. goal to shoot for you know you could start with 190 here and then you could go for uh, the 690 after that. Clap from the stream room. Whole, whole stream's clap for me. Yo, let's go. Hi everyone. Heck yeah. Be sure to give Helix and Rock and everyone else who's, who's on staff there a hug. Okay, thank you. <laughs> if you haven't done so already, it's very important. Yeah, please from all of us. <laughs> but yeah, thank you all for being here in general. Thank you all for watching Absolutely. me. If you want to see thank, more thank stuff like this, uh, follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash mr underscore shasta. Also, if you want to see some Kirby the Forgotten Land speedruns, I'll be running that for a while too. The game just came out and that's my, that's the series I run most usually is, is Kirby. So yeah. Heck yeah. Looking forward to seeing how those leaderboards shape up. And again, that is mr underscore shasta. Yes. And with that, I'm good. Uh, coming off whenever. Uh, Midwest sure. FIFA is pretty cool. You should, you should support them. They're awesome. Yeah. Big fan. I went to their IRL events like last August. It was really cool. Big fan. Might go again someday if I have every time. Yeah. All right. I'm not cut off yet. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe someday I'll get cut off. I think you're all set.